This video will cover the operation and features available on the 4-inch touchscreen powered by Ride Command. After powering up the gauge, you'll find the speedometer, tachometer, directional heading, current gear, turn signal indicators, indicator lamps, back button, app tray button, controls button, screen cycle button, and the icon bar. On the icon bar, you'll find the device connection, cell signal strength, clock, ride mode, and navigation directions if navigation is started. To cycle through the display screens, press the screen cycle button on the gauge, or the trigger switch on the left hand control. Pressing the app tray button allows you to select a specific display screen. The display screens include the gauge screen, bike information, ride information, maps and navigation, music, phone, and controls, which can be accessed with either a long press on the left hand trigger or by navigating through the app tray menu. Swiping the gauge screen will give the rider a more analog display of the speedometer, tachometer, and the fuel level. The bike information screen displays ambient temperature, battery voltage, fuel economy, and fuel range. The ride information screen displays a menu icon that allows the user to pause current ride or start a new one. Ride time, distance traveled, time moving and stopped, current elevation, odometer, the trip odometer, which can be cycled by using the arrow, or reset by pressing the counterclockwise arrow. The Maps and Navigation screen allows the user to view map layers with Traffic Advisor, zoom in and out, center the map on your location with the Center on Me button, view the directional heading, or select the heading to change the view of the map, and search for destinations by typing in an address, Locating nearby fuel stations, setting a home address, accessing saved locations, viewing recent searches, or by searching points of interest. Once a destination has been selected, the display will provide turn by turn navigation. The music information screen displays the source icon, add Bluetooth device track information, previous, pause play, and next icons. Switching to a USB device through the source icon enables additional features, including a menu icon in the upper right corner to give the user additional options for selecting music, track length, repeat track icon, and the shuffle icon. In the phone menu, the user can add a headset, access recent calls, view their contact list, input a number, and view messages. The settings menu features four categories, information, general setting, time, and vehicle information. In the Information panel, you'll find the VIN, model number, software version, odometer, and miles remaining until the next service. In the General Settings panel, you can change brightness,
select night and day mode, manage and add Bluetooth devices, change the language, set the speed units of measure, set the temperature, pressure, and volume units of measure, See system information, update software, and update maps. In the time panel, you can enable GPS time, set time zone, set time if GPS time is not enabled, Set the date and change the time format. In the vehicle panel, you can enable or disable cylinder deactivation. Enable a passcode to unlock. Access Vehicle Diagnostics, View Oil Life and Access the Service Reset function, and turn the display off. Navigating to the Controls menu through the app tray will allow the user to change ride modes. Note that the throttle must be fully disengaged to change ride modes. Adjust display brightness, change heated grip settings if equipped, and close the menu. The left hand controls feature a five way media control which allows the user to mute the audio, increase and decrease volume, navigate the previous and next track, and rewind or skip 10 seconds with a long press to the left or right. To the right of the five-way media control is the three-way switch which allows the user to navigate through display screens and select items on the gauge. The right trigger switch can be used to accept incoming phone calls while the left trigger switch can be used to back out of menu screens. For more information, see your authorized Indian motorcycle dealer or visit indianmotorcycle.com.